It's time again for the Science Bowl. Zoo Parade for five. What big teeth the hippo has are actually a pair of these. Science Potpourri for 10. Would a snake most likely eat every day? Every week, Dateline Science for 10. Why are some elephants wearing necklaces these days? Green things for 15. And now, here's your host, Mr. Z himself, Dave Zarin. Thank you, and welcome to the Science Bowl today. Two outstanding middle schools here to play our game. Let's meet them right now. First, from G. James Golson Middle School, say hello to Zion Kirkland, Chagosi Agoto, and David Black. And from William Wirt Middle School, here they are, Tabria Hall, Malik Taiwo, and Keyborn Laborde. And now here are the categories of questions we use on the Science Bowl. Okay, Mr. Z, here's today's categories. Green things, questions about plants and all things green and growing. Zoo Parade, a Noah's Ark of questions about animals. Body systems, we'll see how much you know about yourself, about things like breathing and growing and digesting your food. Let's get physical. Questions that test your knowledge of physics and chemistry, earth science and space science. Then there's science potpourri. Here's a grab bag of science questions. Everything from air pollution to the kitchen sink. And finally, Dateline Science. We'll ask you about science history and science in the news. Here on the Science Bowl, we arrange our game board according to question difficulty with the easier questions on the left. They're worth five and 10 points. The tougher ones are worth 15, 20, and ultimately 25, the toughest question of them all. Both of our teams start out at 50 points apiece. No penalties ever for incorrect answers. End of the two rounds, one of these two talented, good-looking teams will come back to play again and possibly emerge as the next semifinalist in this year's middle school competition. Let's make sure everything works properly. Chigozi, would you try that buzzer for me? Thank you, young man. Good luck to you, David and Zion on the red team. And Malik, would you try your buzzer? Thank you, sir. Good luck to you and to Keyborn and to Bria over there at William Wirt. You're all great credits to your school. Thanks for being here today. Let's have a great time. We go alphabetically G before W, so Chigozi, let's play the ball. Go. Um, Zoo parade for 10. Zoo parade for 10 points. Teams, you know, if you have a group of lions, it's a pride. If you have a group of geese, it's a gaggle. But a group of these birds, some people call them paddling, sometimes they call them rafts. But if you watch television, a group of these birds might be called a dynasty. Golson. Duck. 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 Duck Dynasty. That's it. Good. Go. Red. You're listening. Um, green things for 10. Green things for 10 points. Teams, the gin that Eli Whitney invented separated the sticky green seeds from what white fiber that is very important in this country for making clothing? Chagosi and Golson. Answer, please. Silk. Not silk. No good try. Cotton. Cotton. The cotton gin that Eli Whitney invented. One of the big inventions in the history of this country. Absolutely. Good comeback. Go green. Um, zoo Papri for 10. Zoo prayed for 10 was taken, so that light should be out there. Yes. I, I mean, um, science Popri. Science Popri for? 10. 10 points. All right, teams, your question is as follows. Six people recently went inside a glass dome known as the high seas on the slopes of a volcano in Hawaii. They're going to stay there for eight months in order to simulate what it will be like if we colonize what nearby planet? Golson. Mars. Mars. They're preparing for a trip to Mars. Good. What will it be like if you're cut off from everything you know? Go red. Body system for 10. Body system for 10, Body system for 10 points. Teams. The densest bone in your body is the bone that protects the semicircular canals and the cochlea that are part of the sense organ known as the inner what? Golson. All right, Chigozi, the inner what? The rib. The rib, did you say? No, no. The densest bone in your body protects the cochlea and the semicircular canals, which are part of what sense organ? Known as the inner what? 
It's the inner ear. The inner ear. The semicircular canals help you to keep your balance, and the cochlea contains, it looks like a snail. That's actually where you perceive the different sounds. Go red. 70, 60 advantage you. Um, let's get physical for 10. Let's get physical for 10 points. Teams, a lunar eclipse only occurs when the moon is in what phase? Golson. Talk among yourselves, uh, William, in case they have to come to you. Lunar eclipse only occurs when the moon is in what phase, Chagosi? You rang in, what did you want to tell me? William Morton, what phase? What? The fullest phase. The fullest phase, the full moon. Yes, sir. Good. Green, go. Good job. Um, tie score. Zoo prayed for 15. Zoo prayed for 15 points. Teams, recently an Antares rocket blew up at Wallops Island. There were no people aboard, but there were dozens of experiments that students had designed, including one that included a whole bucket of mosquito eggs that now will never hatch into what next metamorphic phase of their lives? Golson? Larvae. Larval stage. That's it. Good. Go red. Um, green things for 15. Green things for 15 points. Teams, this is almost unbelievable, but it's true. Plants are now known to have a special molecule that blocks UVB to keep them from getting what? Golson. Yes, sir. Cancer. What you want to tell me? Cancer. Not cancer. Good try. There's a special molecule that blocks UVB in plants that keeps them from getting what? Frozen. Sunburned. Sunburn. Ultraviolet rays are what burn. You don't think of plants getting sunburned because they need light, but you know, it's, uh, it's very damaging, so they need some kind of protection. 85 to 70 advantage red. Zooprate for five. Zooprate for five points. Visual question. Look at the monitor. This statue of Edgar Allan Poe, recently unveiled in Boston, shows Poe with a bird that he made famous. The bird always quoted, nevermore. <laughs> Name that bird, Wirt. Um, it was an eagle? No, it's not an eagle. G. James Golson, okay. the bird quoted, nevermore. Edgar Allan Poe's famous what? I'll pass to David. The crow? The raven. The raven. That's why the Baltimore Ravens are so named, because of Edgar Allan Poe. Go red. Um, green things for five. Green things for five points. Teams, its genus name, Toxicodendron, is perfect because this plant has the most beautiful fall leaves, but don't touch them. They contain urushiol oil that will make you itch just like they do in the summer, Golson. Poison ivy. Poison ivy, Poison ivy yeah. Toxicodendron, the buzzer has sounded. We've come to the end of the first round. Our score. Golson, 90. William Ward, 70. We'll be back with round two in a moment. Don't you go away. Welcome back to Science Bowl. Two great middle school teams here today. We're proud of what they've been doing so far. Let's meet them before we ask any more scientific questions. Let's go to G. James Golson Middle School here in Landover, not too far from our studio. Who's your principal there, Chigozi? Um, Miss Hall. Miss Hall, and out there rooting for you. And Miss Stacy Henry is your sponsor. And yes. I know she just loves Science Bowl, and she's really prepared you guys well. And you had some alternates. Boy, did you have some alternates. Yeah. Who are, who's waiting out in the wings? We'll meet them in a few um, minutes. We have five alternates. We have Craig, Blair. Um, Help him out, Dave. Nina, who's he missing? Naomi. Naomi and Jasmine. Jasmine. Right, so you have, a, you have a shadow team plus out there. Yeah. We'll bring them out with Miss Henry in just a few moments here. Uh, tell me about Golson. 
What do you like best about that school? Um, I really like the individuality. So like, for example, the eighth graders wear gold mm -hmm. and the seventh graders wear um, blue. Mm -hmm. So all the teachers and staff members will be able to recognize us. And we also have houses. Mm -hmm. So we be placed in how, um, how well we're doing in school. So we'll be around our classmates that can help us out or we can help them out. And we have a lot of athletics in our school also. Thank you for sharing all that. That's a really interesting observation because we all want to feel that we count, that we're not anonymous. So if people make you special, they make you feel special because you're in a certain house or you're wearing something certain, something that you uh, identifies you, that makes you, uh, makes you do better. And I think that's just tremendous. Thanks for sharing that. You want to be a doctor someday, don't you? Oh, yes. Yes, and maybe a surgeon? Yeah. Maybe a surgeon. And uh, it's nice to have you back again because you played last year. You play so well, Chigozi. Thank you. You're welcome, and keep up the good work. David, nice to have you here for the very first time. A uh, young man who's interested in reptiles. How'd that happen, David? Uh, when I was little, my dad, uh, he had a Burmese python that he bought. Yeah. And I th ever since then, I've just been so interested. And some people just have an innate fear of snakes, but uh, they're not slimy if you hold them, and uh, they're not going to eat you. You know, they, uh, if you treat them well, they, uh, they treat you well a lot of times. What do you want to do professionally someday? Um, if my veterinary career doesn't work out, I play professional sports. That's wonderful. All right. Nice to have you here. You're playing a good game, too. And Zion, nice to have you here. A young man who's a baseball player and a basketball player of some renown because your school just did really well in baseball and basketball as well. And do uh, you want to be a professional sports guy like Dave? Yes, and I, um, I say this because I'm, I'm really into sports. So I think that separates myself that gives me an outlet, outlet in life mm -hmm. rather than school, which I love, because I'm learning things and one day won't be a science, so, um, a science doctor. Yeah. I mean, a and doctor. So, so I want to just learn more. And I love being into the sports because it's, it, it builds me up. It gives me joy. Absolutely. Oh, I love that. If something gives you joy, boy, that's something to hold on to. And Dave was helping you out there. He was talking about sports medicine, too, because I know you were thinking about sports Good medicine, job. you know, maybe after your sports career. Nice, got, nice going there. William Martin, nice to have you guys here. You're all wearing matching black polo shirts and T-shirts. Is that part of your uniform, Malik? Yes. Yeah, and you guys are all eighth graders. Yes. Is that right? And who's your principal? Um, Mr. Prince. Mr. Prince. All right, very good. And the sponsor of your team? Miss um, Moyne. Miss Moyne, and I know she has really been looking forward to this, and she's been part of Science Bowl for a couple of years, and we appreciate all that she does for us. Do you have any alternates on your team? Um, we have Walter and Jules. Wonderful. We'll bring them out if they're here just a little later with Miss Moyne. And I'll ask you what I asked Chigozi. When you talk about William Wirt, what do you brag about? Um, our iPads. Ah, everybody has an iPad there, right? Yeah. And how's that working out? Do you use it for instructional purposes? Obviously you do, but can you have time to, to surf the web as, as well? Yes, we have free time. Do you think it makes a difference? Yes. Yeah, how so? Because sometimes we read books mm -hmm. and it's easier to read on a big iPad. You don't have to worry about getting the books from the library and everybody can pull it up instantly. That's a good observation. And Malik, someday, what do you want to do? I want to be a doctor. A doctor. You and Shigozi have that in common. And Keyborn, how about you? What are you looking at as a profession? I want to be a fireman. Yeah, we were talking about that earlier. How would you get interested in that? Um, it just felt like a good thing for me to do. I've, um, I have a... My dad has a friend. He ha He's a fireman. And he talked to me about being how good of being a fireman can be and it's also it um, gives you it pays well and it um give you opportunity to save people and help out absolutely you know you're doing a great community service everybody depends on a fireman and it's a physical job and it's a mental job and uh uh, it seems like you got both things going for you there. Thanks for sharing that with us. And Tabria, what about you? What do you want to do someday? I, at first, I wanted to be a police officer, but then I moved up to the military, so mm -hmm. I wanted to join the military. The military, and you'd like to be a nurse. Yeah. Yeah, so you, like Keyborn, really are interested in helping people and saving people. What do you like to do in your spare time? Uh, sometimes I go on, sometimes I go on MSN and see like news that has happened throughout the, the world. Yeah, so many of us get our news now from electronic devices. We don't read newspapers as much or watch television, but it's so important to keep up with what's going on in the world. And you guys are doing that because you know the answers to these questions. 
Thank you, everybody. Let's get back to our game. 90 for Golson and 70 for Wirt. Lots of the high-valued questions still remain. Red team, go. Um, but let's get physical for five. Let's get physical for five points. Teams, there are certain kinds of cakes where this chocolate, the chocolate stuff that comes out has the same name as the red hot stuff that comes out of, yes, Golson. Yes, sir? Lava. Lava, yeah, we're talking about chocolate lava cakes. That's a great dessert to get out. And the lava from Kilauea that we've been watching advance toward a town in Hawaii. Go, Red. Um, body systems for five. Body systems for five points. Teams, the actress Renee Zellweger looks entirely different because she underwent plastic surgery, especially to this flap of skin that keeps her eyes open or closed. Her eyelids. The eyelid, that's it. Yeah, good. Go. Five points um, for Golson. Go. Potpourri for five. Potpourri for five points. Teams, you might never have heard of this test, but I know you can answer this question. There is a behavior test to test your willpower and to delay gratification. The name of the test is the name of this sweet confection that a lot of people put inside of hot cocoa. Golson. Marshmallow. It's the marshmallow test. Exactly right. Good. Red. Dateline science for five. Dateline science for five points. Teams. One of the two dogs that recently attacked one of the intruders that jumped over the White House fence had the same name as these large tropical storms that form. William you um, I don't think it is. Charming Shepherd. Charming Shepherd. Yes, sir. Canine. What's that? Canine. Not canine. No, you didn't listen to the last part of the question. Golston, the name of this dog is the same name as these large tropical storms that form in the Atlantic Ocean. Hur that dog's name was what? Hurricane. Yeah, Hurricane was his name. Good. Go. Red. Dateline signs for 10. Dateline for 10 points. Teams, today the Kardashians are big. But 300 years ago, the superstars were Galileo and Kepler and Copernicus. All what kinds of scientists? Golson. Um, astronomers. They were all the astronomers. Yeah, they were telling people, wait a minute, it, the Earth isn't the center of the universe, it's the sun. And boy, they were upsetting everybody's custom views. Go red. Um, let's get physical for 15. Let's get physical for 15 points. Teams, the science of physics says that we can go no faster than what universal speed limit? Speed of light. Golson. Speed of light. The speed of light, 186,000. Miles per second. That's the ultimate speed limit. Go. Um, body systems for 15. Body systems for 15 points. Teams, if you're going in for surgery and they give you an epidural injection of an anesthetic, they give you that shot directly into your what? Golson, we got a couple prospective doctors out here. You should be able to get this one. Your arm. Not your arm. You get an epidural injection before surgery of an anesthetic. They give it to you directly into your... In your epidermis? No, good try. Your spine, the epidural, the dural layer is what covers up the nerve endings in there. Try red again. Dateline sign to 15. Dateline for 15 points. Teams, this was a sad situation. A number of students were injured recently at the Discovery Museum in Reno, Nevada, when the teacher was trying to make a tornado and she mixed together methyl alcohol and which of the following kinds of acids? An acid that you can use to bathe your eye. A C. Chagosi. What do you want to tell me? I was about to give you some choices. Is a chemical Yes, sir. I forgot the name. It's a chemical um, pepsin? Nope. William Moore, which of the following acids, an acid that you can use to bathe your eye, was what that teacher mixed with methyl alcohol that caused the explosion? Boric, hydrochloric, or acetic? Come on, nurse Debrio. Hydrochloric. Hydrochloric. Not hydrochloric. Boric acid. You put it into a cup and you can bathe your eye if you get a foreign body in there. Try again, red. Sign potpourri for 15. Potpourri for 15 points. Visual question. Look at the monitor. These finches all have different sizes and shaped beaks. That's because Charles Darwin said they all evolved because they lived on different islands separated by water. In what island chain? What islands did Charles Darwin visit? Golson. Hawaii. 
Hawaii. Not Hawaii. Good try. Name those islands where Charles Darwin noticed the different sized beaks on the finches and came up with his theory of evolution. You said name them? Name the islands, the group of islands. Those are the Galapagos Islands off the coast of Ecuador. Try again, Red. All right, all 20 and 25 point questions are still available. 135 to 70. William Wirt, you got your work cut out for you, but you can still do this. Stay with me. Go, Red. Zoo parade for 20. Zoo parade for 20 points. All right, this is an interesting question. Long ago, when this country first started, we didn't have dollar bills or coins. We used other things for currency, like fish skins and tobacco leaves. And these shells from very tasty bivalves. What kind of shells did we use? Golson? Clams? Yeah, clam shells. That's why it says, hey, I got a couple clams here for you. That's it. Good listening, go. Um, green things for 20. Green things for 20 points. Listen carefully, don't jump too fast. Down at the Smithsonian, there is a giant tree trunk section from a redwood. It's 620 years old when it was cut down. We know that because we counted 620 Chica. rings. I got rings. What kind? Um, people doing this. I'll pass it to David. David. Annular rings. Annular rings. Absolutely right. Good answer. Good assist there, Dave. Good. Red. Um, body systems for 20. Body systems for 20 points, teams. Let's talk direction here in your body. You have a left side of your heart and a right side of your heart. You have a large intestine and a small intestine. You have an upper GI and a lower GI. And when you talk about blood vessels like the vena cava, you have a superior vena cava. And what's the opposite? Inferior, superior and inferior. Go red. Let's, oh, let's go super for 25. Super eight for 25. Zoo prayed for 25 points. Interesting question. Think about this. The sloth is the slowest animal on Earth, but it is very much like poikilothermic reptiles, David, because it has to do what every day to get itself going? Get William Wirt. Has to sleep. Get has to sleep. No, it doesn't have to sleep. Sloths are like poikilothermic reptiles, meaning they have to do what every day to get themselves going? Eat. They have to sun themselves, like reptiles, because their body temperature is so low, they gotta get out in the sun to warm themselves up so that they can start to move around. All right, try again. Um, let's get physical for 20. Let's get physical for 20 points. All right, teams. Instead of being buried, some people want to have their cremated remains taken into space. They can do that. There is a weather balloon that will take them up 26 miles to the stratosphere, drop them, and the ashes will come down to what lowest layer of the atmosphere where the wind will pick them up? The stratosphere to the what? What do you think, guys? A past design. The soil? No. Not the soil, no. What's the layer of the atmosphere that's closest to the Earth, where the ashes will fi finally come down to? Atmosphere. That's the troposphere, the troposphere. Go, Red. Um, oh, science potpourri for 25. Science potpourri for 25 points, teams. All right. Question has two answers, has two answers. Listen carefully. Most of the meat that we eat in this country comes from animals that have been injected with two kinds of chemicals. One that builds up muscle mass and the other that fights infections. What are those two kinds of chemicals called? Um, GMO. Again? GMO. And what else? GMO and... GMO. The... Not quite, not quite. Golson, what two kinds of injections do they put into meat? One to build up muscle mass and one to fight infections. Yeah, okay. I'll, I'll pass to Zion. Come on, Zion, let's get it. Steroids and vaccine. Steroids and vaccines. Not quite. No, we were looking for hormones and antibiotics. Those are what we're looking for. Let's turn out that green light over there and red team go. Green things for 25. Green things for 25 points. Teams. Charles Darwin, we already talked about him once today, to, to describe this as the abominable mystery 
because the fossil record showed that suddenly these kinds of plants came upon the earth, taking the place of the gymnosperms that had long dominated. What kinds of plants suddenly appeared on earth? What's the opposite of the gymnosperms? That's the crux of the question. Those are the angiosperms, the flowering plants, the flowering plants. The buzzer is rung. That means our game is over. We'll be back with a wrap up in just a moment. Don't go away. How far would you go to help someone? Would you go to the end of your driveway? Would you cross a street? Would you cross an ocean? Would you go if you could use your knowledge to teach someone? And in the process, maybe learn something yourself. Life is calling. How far will you go? Peace Corps. Welcome back to Science. Well, I hope you enjoyed this game at home as much as we did here in the studio. You know, this is tough. A lot of times the students come here for the very first time and it's hard to get used to the lights and the pace and the questions. They do extremely well. We're proud of all of them. Our final tally today is William Worth 70, G. James Golson 175. So Golson, you're moving on in the competition. Zion and Chikosi and David, congratulations. And look at the shadow team back there. They got the big smiles. Wave everybody, Blair, Jasmine, Nina, Naomi, Craig, and the inimitable Miss Stacy Henry. And let's see some big smiles on the William Worth team. You played a great game. Tabria and Malik and Keyborn, you've never been here before. And we really loved having you. Walter, thanks for being one of the all and Ms. Moyne, thank you for giving so much of your time to getting this team prepared. We appreciate that very much. We appreciate you tuning in. We'll see you next time on the Science Bowl. Bye-bye.